Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kyra and today we're going to be talking about some beauty trends that others hate or strongly dislike as I prefer that I actually really love. Now of course I can't speak for everybody but in general these are things that are maybe not the most trendy thing currently that I still really love and use in my makeup routine on the regular. My channel a very special welcome to you I know I have had an influx of a lot of new friends over the last month or so I think in part thanks to my eyeshadow collection video I'm so glad that everyone enjoyed that video I loved making it and I will have some content just like that coming very very soon next week I believe but I wanted to make sure and give full creative credit to Kelly Gooch for this video she challenged other creators to go ahead and film this video, kind of an unofficial tag, if you will, um, when she put up her video, which I will of course have linked down below. I think Kelly and I have some very similar answers, although we don't tend to love the same makeup, we do tend to love a lot of the same makeup techniques. So here we go, number one trend that I love that others maybe don't, strong blush. This is toned back for me. <laughs> and in real life, it's actually quite more, it's a lot more bold than it is now. Um, but I just love blush. Like I never feel like I can have enough blush on my face. I think it makes the skin look healthy and alive and obviously flushed, but like really flushed. To me, blush is one of the most feminine things that you could wear along with lipstick so I just really love blush I really like to pile it on I like to mix blush I love cream blush I love powder blush shimmery matte the whole thing other than eyeshadow I own the most blush of any category in my collection so I really really love a strong blush it to me just brings the face alive. The next trend that I absolutely love, and I don't even know that this, this had been a trend for a while. Let me know if you remember the last time that this was trendy. But for me, I love a very natural, barely there brow. I don't love a super structured, completely filled in brow. Um, or even a perfect brow. I don't like my brows to be perfect and Lord knows they're not. Specifically today, we have a grooming situation that needs to happen, but I just like a really natural brow. In fact, I didn't even do my brows, like do anything with them other than an occasional like tweezing when they would get super crazy until I was in my early 30s, to be honest. I just never cared about my brows. I was never tempted to like over tweeze them or have them be really thin or anything like that. I just like a natural brow, which is why right now my current brow routine is really just a tinted brow mascara or gel and soap brows. I love the look of structured brows on other people. Don't get me wrong. Not into the thin brows. I like a bushier, thicker brow in general. But I do like a nice filled in brow on other people. I just don't like it on me. When I've tried to sort of follow that trend in the past, it just didn't look like Kyra. And this is Kyra. Very effortless, but you know, the soap helps them to stay in place. And you know, it is natural, um, or it looks more natural when my brows are combed up and they stay in place all day, hence the soap. Wow, I must be spitting a lot. My, my notes are wet. <laughs> Next, I don't even know if you would call this a trend, but something that I love that you do not see very much here on YouTube, probably more in real life than anything, I love no foundation. I love it. Overall, I don't ever want anything more than a light to medium coverage, and I would really prefer it to stay on the light coverage. And I realize we all have different skin types, skin needs, skin issues, um, preferences in terms of coverage, 
and the whole shebang I personally would rather go without foundation the only thing I'm a little insecure about is I do have melasma over my top lip that can kind of look like a mustache even though it's not hair um, so I do like a little bit of coverage there and I do like concealer for sure and I will spot conceal if need be but I love going out without foundation today I'm wearing just like a light tinted gel cream product and I like that as well but in general especially come warmer weather which it is definitely coming to Colorado right now it's absolutely gorgeous outside I would prefer not to have foundation I don't have to worry about it smearing or melting on my off my face or anything like that so I definitely prefer no foundation to foundation but if I do wear foundation it's going to be light one trend that I do think is becoming more and more accepted by others if not in practice um, in the ideology of it is shimmers in the crease of your eyeshadow and for me one of my favorite ways to apply eyeshadow and I can link a video where I show this actually a couple of videos I did three spring looks with my shot my stash palettes in March as well as I just put up a video reviving my ABH Norvina palette both of those videos I show you how I would take one color put it all over the lid blend it up into the crease a little bit to fade it and make it kind of turn into a transition shade and then maybe a highlight shade on the inner part of the lid or maybe a matte to just buff out the edge of that shimmer but I love a shimmer on the lid and buffed into the crease as a base for any look it's gonna get you out the door really quickly you don't even have to add a second shadow if you've got a color that you really love like say this green that I have over most of my lid beautiful one shadow look in the way that I just explained I've never ever since beginning my channel and really beginning this journey in beauty and makeup I have never followed the rule to not put a shimmer in the crease because I like it I like the way it looks I've done it pretty much all my life even when I was wearing the same eyeshadow every single day, day after day after day, I was still putting it on the same way and it's the same way that I like it now. Another trend that I actually really love and did practice for a long time, then kind of got away from it, and today I have it on one eye and not the other, is lower lash mascara. I had intended when I was filming this look, which is coming soon, if it's up already, I'll link it, but when I was creating this look, I had intended to not put any lower lash mascara on, which is what I did on this eye, but then forgot by the time I got to this eye. So here's one, and then here hopefully you can see the difference. I really love that more blank lash look on the lower lash line. I think it kind of lifts the eye more than having the lower lash mascara on that side. I just like the way it looks and it's just fresh, especially when I'm wearing eyeliner, which is not something I used to do a lot but have been doing more lately. Whew. Um, I just think it, it looks nicer, it looks more clean, it looks, like I said, um, younger and who doesn't want that? So um, one trend that I love that I almost never see other people do except Kelly Gooch is to leave off the lower lash line mascara. And then the last trend which probably speaks to the generation that I mostly grew up in which was the 90s and that is a slightly deeper lip liner than the whatever lip product I'm putting on with it. Hopefully you can see that that is what I have going on today. I did use my MAC World lip pencil and then I went in with this Revlon Super Lustrous Shine lipstick in the shade Glazed Mauve over top I just like the look of the definition I think it makes the lips look fuller I'm not talking exactly like the 90s <laughs> I'm not talking brown lip liner with the concealer lips of nudes lipstick with it but for me I'm talking more like something like this and most people are like either don't wear lip liner at all which is really not an option for me as I approach 40 as well as you know they're more matching their lip liner 
I'm also one that just lines the lips. I very rarely fill in my lips with lip liner. I don't know why that is. Probably again because I grew up in the 90s. But I just really like the look of this. And I just really like these trends whether other people do or not. In the makeup world, the biggest advice I can give you is to march to your own drummer. Obviously, if there's something you want to learn or something that you see on someone else that you really like and you want to try it, that's totally cool. But also stick to your own aesthetic. Do what you think looks nice on you, what you like to do, what you have time to do, all the things. And I hope you enjoyed this video. A short and sweet little chatty video is never a bad thing, especially since my videos tend to run pretty long. Thank you to Kelly for tagging all of us creators to play along to her video idea. I'd love to see her do the opposite of this, like things that she doesn't like that other people love. I know she's done videos similar to this before, but this is the first time that she's asked other creators to film a similar video if they were so inclined, and I was. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you're staying safe and well, and I hope if you're wearing makeup right now that all your makeup days are absolutely beautiful makeup days, and I will see you in my next video soon. Yeah.